Hi, I'm Ellen. I'm a speech pathologist, and today I'm going to teach you how to say the perfect R sound. And before I get started, I just wanted to let you know that I'm accepting new virtual clients right now for speech therapy. So if you live in Maryland and you want to learn more about working with me, I put my email address and my website in the description box below. So feel free to reach out if you'd like to learn more about that. But today, I'm gonna teach you how to make the perfect R sound, and by the end of this video, I promise you will be able to make the perfect R sound, and it's gonna sound like this. Err. So here's what you can expect from today's video. We're gonna start off with shaping exercises and finish with R exercises. Shaping exercises pretty much just means we shape one sound into an R sound. So during those shaping exercises, you will learn how to make that R sound. So those shaping exercises are going to be what teach you how to get that perfect R, R sound to come out of your mouth. And once you're done with the shaping exercises, then we're gonna go into the R repetitions to train your tongue and your lips on how to say it perfectly. So let's get into those shaping exercises. In order to make the perfect R sound, you have to smile and pull your tongue all the way back. So those are the two things to keep in mind. Your lips need to be in the shape of a smile and your tongue needs to be pulled all the way back to the back of your mouth. So go ahead and try that. Smile. You don't have to make any sound, but as you smile, try to pull your tongue back. See if you can even do it. Okay, now we're gonna get a little more complicated and start making some sounds while we do that. Technically, there are two different shapes that your tongue can be in to make an R sound. I'm gonna teach you both of the potential shapes that your tongue can be in to make an R sound, and you are going to pick which one worked for you. The two different shapes we're gonna do are smiling, tongue back with the tongue tip up. The second one is smiling, tongue back, tongue tip down. This is the one with the tongue tip down that most people have the most success with and they feel like they have the most control over their tongue. When they're smiling, their tongue is back and their tongue tip is down. But some people have success getting the R sound, that er, R sound out with smiling, tongue back, and the tongue tip up. Let's start off with the tongue tip up, see how it works for you. So let's start off with a smile, because either way, you're smiling. That has to be the lip shape for both of these R sounds. Smile, we're starting with the tongue tip up, and we're gonna shape the sound L into an R. Tongue tip up behind your top teeth. L, make an L sound. L, L, L. Now, glide your tongue tip from front to back in your mouth. And as you say the L sound, you're gonna pull your tongue back, back, back as you drag that tongue tip along the roof of your mouth. As you do that transition from front to back, you will start hearing the sound shape. Listen to me first. Hear that? By the end, I shaped that L into that er sound just by dragging my tongue tip from front to back. So as you pull your tongue tip back, keep pulling the base of your tongue, that big fat part in the back, pull it back and down, back and down, and your tongue tip will stay up. Let's try it together now three times. Start with an L, and pull it back. By the end of that shaping exercise, did you hear a perfect er, R sound? Let's try it one more time, and I want you to hold out the end of that exercise. Once your tongue is all the way in the back of your mouth, hold it out. See if it sounds like that perfect er sound. I'll be making the er sound by the end. See if ours sound similar. 
So go ahead and smile, tongue tip up, drag it back and hold it out. Okay, that's shaping exercise number one done. Tongue tip up. If that worked for you and you heard an er sound by the end, that can be a technique that you use going from L to er to get your tongue in the right position to make the R sound. We're gonna move on to the second shaping exercise now. And this is the one where most people have success where their tongue tip is down and they can actually make the R sound a little bit more clearly because they have more control over their tongue. So now we're gonna shape the sound U like a flat uh, uh into that er sound. So smile first, listen to me as I say it. My tongue tip will be down behind my bottom teeth and I'm gonna pull my tongue back while my tongue tip is down. And as I pull it back, I'm going to arch the middle of my tongue. So it doesn't only need to be back far in my mouth, it needs to be back and high. So listen to me first. Smile, tongue tip down and move it back. Uh, okay, try it with me and keep in mind your tongue tip will be down, but as you pull your tongue back, there needs to come a point where the middle of your tongue, right here, that middle part of your tongue needs to raise up. It needs to go back and high in your mouth. Let's try it together three times. Smile, tongue tip down, pull it back. Uh, try it again. Uh, one more time. Uh, Okay, now we're gonna hold out the end of that exercise where we shaped that uh into the er. We're gonna hold out that er at the end. I'll be making the perfect R sound and let's compare, see if R's sound the same. Let's go ahead, smile, tongue tip down, pull it back and then hold it out. Uh, So between the two of those shaping exercises, I'm expecting that you at some point heard an er sound come out. If it still sounded in that exercise from uh to er, if it still sounded like this, uh, I have another trick for you. We're gonna try the uh to the er while our heads tilted back. This is gonna let gravity Pull your tongue back to the back of your mouth and kind of force it into that back sitting position where it's all bulked up at the back of your mouth. Try to envision that you're gurgling mouthwash and your tongue's at the back of your mouth and you're trying not to choke. And let's do the same exact thing that we just did, uh to er, and as we do that glide and shape it into an er sound, I want you to start with your head somewhat tilted back and then really tilt it back and feel it fall to the back of your mouth. Ready, smile, tongue tip down, head up. I'm gonna go, uh, try it again. Uh, two more times. Uh, So at this point, you know what shape your lips need to be in, where your tongue needs to be in your mouth, and if you're still having a tricky time, rewind the video and try those exercises again. Once you get to the point where you have heard that er sound come out of your mouth, 
Keep doing those shaping exercises until you feel confident entering in on that er sound because that's what we're about to do. We are going to cut off the first half of the shaping exercise and come right in on that strong, perfect er sound. And one tip I have for you is if you're having a hard time knowing if you actually made that sound or not, you can record yourself doing those exercises and listen to yourself to hear, did you shape it into a perfect er sound? Does it sound just like me on your recording, that er sound? Do you hear it? If so, go ahead and move on with me and do these R exercises. But if you don't hear it, try it again until you do hear it. There's no rush, but those are the techniques that you have to use. You have to smile and you have to get your tongue back. So one way or another, between those two shaping exercises, you will get your tongue into the right position. As long as you know you're smiling, your tongue is back and high in your mouth, and either your tongue tip is up or down, once you get it, train it, practice it, and then move on with me to these R exercises. We're going to move into short repetitions of the R sound. We're going to do them in sets of 10. We're gonna do three sets of 10, and then three sets of five long R sounds. So do whatever you have to do to get into position. Smile, if you have to go uh, or uh, or tilt your head back. Uh, get that feeling in the back of your mouth. We start off with uh, 10 times, holding it for about two or three seconds. Ready? Let's try it together. Uh, uh, Stop. Take a breath. Take a drink. And when you're ready, we're going to do it again. Ready? Smile. Pull your tongue back. And let's go. Err. Stop. Take a little break. And when you're ready, join me for our last set. Ready? Smile. Pull your tongue back and begin. Stop. We're gonna take a little longer break now because we're about to move into the holds. We're gonna do three sets of five long holds. This will be tricky, and it has been tricky up until now. The R sound is tricky. And congratulations if you've made it this far, because I know it's not easy and it's pretty exhausting. But what we're gonna do is start off the same way and hold it out until it doesn't sound perfect anymore. So you're going to start off in the nice, perfect er, R sound, Hold it out until you lose control or run out of breath. Five repetitions for three sets. Go ahead and smile. Pull your tongue back and begin.
Take a break. We have two more sets to go. <sighs> Take a breath. Stretch your mouth out. Close your eyes. Do whatever you need to do. <laughs> and let's go into our second set. Smile. Tongue back. And begin. Okay, we're about to move into our third and final set. This is the last exercise of the day, so let's make it count. If you feel like you can go longer, form a more tight and perfect R sound, let's make it count for this last set right here. So go ahead, take a deep breath. Smile, pull your tongue back and begin. Okay, now that we're done the exercises, let me tell you what your homework should be. Come back to this video, and if you need to remind yourself how to get that R sound out doing those shaping exercises, start off with a couple shaping exercises, but then jump right into the repetitions that we did at the end of the video. So three sets of 10 short R's and three sets of five long R's. Do that at least once a day for a week. If you have the energy to do it twice a day, that's fine. But at the very least, do those exercises once a day. And then come back here in a week. I'm gonna post a video with how to practice the R sound in words. It's important when you're learning a new sound like this to not rush it. You're not all of a sudden going to be able to say the R sound, like we said it today, perfectly in conversation. We are just starting small, learning how to say it by itself. And as we go and as you follow along with these videos, I'm going to post two or three more videos for our words, our sentences, and our in conversation. So as we practice, just keep in mind you're starting small, only practicing the R sound just like we did today by itself, and then work on practicing it in words with me and then in sentences, and then in conversation. It's a huge deal that you did it today, you learned how to make the R sound, but don't expect to be able to say it perfectly all the time. It's going to take time and we will get there together. But good job today. Let me know in the comments below if you did it, how you did, and if you have any questions. And also, again, don't forget to reach out to me if you live in Maryland and are interested in working with me one-on-one -on -one as your speech therapist. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you did well, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.